Hi. Now, if you watched my previous video, I showed you how we could go about solving these types of equations. And what I've got here is just a summary exercise that you might like to try just for further practice. I'll give you a moment anyway to pause the video. Do come back when ready and you can check your work solution with mine. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So, in this first one here, first of all, we've got it in the correct form. That is that we've got two terms. One term here equals another term here. Remember, you can only solve these if you reduce them down to two terms. Next, we look at the 4 and the 8 and try and think of what base these are going to be uh, powers of. And that's the base 2. We can see that 4 is the same as 2 squared. And then we raise this all to the power 3x. And for 8, 8 is 2 cubed. And we raise this now to the power x plus 1. Then to simplify this, we multiply the 2 with the 3x. Okay, So we get 2 to the power 6x. And for the other one, we multiply 3 with the x plus 1. And we end up with 2 to the power 3x plus 3. Now we've got our two terms. They're to the same base, 2. We can equate the powers. So therefore, we have 6x equals 3x plus 3. And if we solve this by subtracting 3x from both sides, we have 6x take away 3x, which is 3x. And that leaves us with the 3 here. Divide both sides by 3, and you end up with x equaling 3 divided by 3, which is 1. OK, so that's our first one there. You can even check it as well. If x is 1, you've got 4 to the power 3 here. 4 cubed is 64. And if x is 1, in this one you've got 8 to the power 1 plus 1, 8 to the power 2, which is, again, 64. So you can see it works. Now for this next example, what we've got is essentially three terms here. Okay, So we need to reduce it to two terms by adding 9 to the power x plus 10 to both sides. So if we do that first, we then end up with 27 to the power 4x equals 9 to the power x plus 10. And again, we now need to find a common base for both the 27 and 9. Now, they're powers of 3. 27 is 3 cubed. So we can raise that to the power 4x. And 9 is the same as 3 squared. So that can be raised now to the power x plus 10. What we do next is we simplify these by multiplying out the 3 with the 4x and the 2 with the x plus 10. So we have 3 to the power 12x equals 3 to the power 2x plus 20. They're to the same base now. We've got two terms, so we can compare the powers. Okay, So therefore, we've got that 12x must equal 2x plus 20. And if we now subtract 2x from both sides, we end up with 10x equaling 20, and we can divide both sides by 10, giving us x equals 20 divided by 10, which is 2. OK, so hope you're able to get those right. And uh, if you did trip up, hopefully you've been able to see where you've gone wrong.